This is lesson 41 in our free code camps basic JavaScript section. This lesson acts as multi-dimensional arrays within indexes. So one way to think of a multi-dimensional array is an array of arrays. When you use brackets to access your array, the first set of brackets refers to the entries in the outermost, the first level array, and each additional pair of brackets refers to the next level of entries inside. So our example is, we have this array called R, and it contains inside of it one, two, three, four other arrays, and this fourth one actually has another array inside of it, along with two number values of 13 and 14. So down here, R brackets three is targeting um, 0, 1, 2, 3. So it's targeting this one right here that contains the array inside of an array with 13 and 14 also. And that's why it shows equals and it shows here. So then the next one, if we set a brackets 3 brackets 0, we're actually targeting we're targeting this array again, but we're going into the zero index, which would target this array, 10, 11, 12. And then lastly, if we were to go even deeper into it, we could do uh, index 3, index 0, index 1, and that would go again to this array. Then it'll go to the zero index of that array which would be here, and then we would go to the index 1, which would be 0, 1, which would be this 11, which is what it says right here. So now that we kind of got an idea, here it says, using bracket notation, some select an element from my array such that my data is equal to 8. So that if we come over here, they want my data to be equal to 8. Well, where do we have an 8 inside of here? So we have this array, and it contains 1, 2, 3, 4 arrays inside of it. So we want to target this one, so that would be 0, 1, 2. So our bracket, our first one should be a 2, because again, 0, 1, Two, and that's the one that has the 8. Then the second one, once we're in here, we want to get not the 0 index, but index 1, which is the second number in that array. So here we put a 1. So now this is targeting from out here 0, 1, 2, which is this array. And we're going into the index 1 in there, which would be the second one, since we start counting at 0. And we target our 8. So now my data contains the number 8. And that should satisfy this challenge, and we're good.